Well, you've already chosen a number of hymns, and I don't know if you caught it, but interspersed into the various lyrics of joy and happiness and celebration, there are also words um, that tell us about the later years in the life of this child that are filled with cross and and piercing. And and when Mary and Joseph bring their newborn uh, to the temple, Mary is told that this lovely, lovely little boy will be the cause of suffering for her. And you and I likely know the story. The child grows to be a man and he suffers and is crucified and died. That that is woven into the Christmas story, and it was of particular interest to me this year, more than other years. Usually I'm on the celebration crowd. But I was kind of caught by this um, these texts in the in the hymnal about this eventual suffering and, and thoughtfulness that consumed Jesus. And that had to do with how my Advent began. I'm, I'm wearing my Advent stole. It, for those of you who are not liturgically minded, it's the wrong color for today. It should be white uh, mixed with a little bit of gold. And, and I, I do have one of those. But when I retired a year and a half ago, I did retire. Um, I I gave away uh, some of my stoles. I I gave away the white one that was for Christmas and Easter. These these are called stoles. Um, the reason I gave away the the old white one is a, a little mouse had come and nibbled on it, and I'm sure then created a, a lovely gold and white nest for herself. So I, I was pleased about that. In any case, um, I, I hadn't used an, an Advent stole for almost two years, and when I went to get one for the first Sunday in Advent, which was uh, about a month ago, I discovered that, that that one was also gone, and that I, I needed to go through the closet at home where I found uh, my, my husband's stole. So this I'm going to step out a little bit. I'll, I'll come right back. But uh, this one, as you can see, is, is quite, well, maybe you can't see it. Here. It's, it's long on me. And, and I, I was thinking this year at the beginning of Advent that uh, this, this stool was a gift to me uh, from someone with whom I was angry. And when she gave it to me, I, I immediately ignored the, the beauty of it. And uh, she's a quilter, so it's handmade. But, but because I was angry several years ago, I, I just told her it was too long. To be honest with you, I, I wanted to hurt her feelings. Because it was clear that she had put effort. It's, it's beautiful on the other side also. So this, this was not a, a casual gift that she picked off the rack. It was something she'd labored over and, and was deliberate about. So I gave it to my husband. He, he wasn't mad at her. He, he didn't even know her. But because I, I, I needed a, a bluish and purplish one for that first Sunday in Advent this year, I, I had to take it out of my husband's closet, and, and I, wore it, I wore it that first Sunday, and, and I couldn't get over how many people came up to me and said how beautiful it is. which at first reminded me of my anger. And so I was, a little, I was a little irritated that people were finding it 
beautiful, which it is. So that following Tuesday in, in our staff meeting, I, I mentioned that I, I wore a stole um, and I, I'd been angry for about four years, maybe five, at this person and that I'd rejected her gift with, with cruelty. And at, at the staff meeting this year, I said that people had really loved it and that maybe hmm, it's time to forgive her. That's my Christmas present this year. I decided to let go of my anger. I decided to think of her kindly. I decided to relinquish my hurt at her behavior that caused my anger. Jesus told his disciples after he was all grown up that as the Father had sent him, so he was sending them. What a, a remarkable verse for us to remember at Christmas time when it's snowing and beautiful outside and, and there's hardly anybody in the sanctuary but those of you who are online. And, and, and I, I think that, that one of the things we're meant to take away from Christmas is that like Jesus, we have been sent. And, and what are the things that we know and treasure about this baby? That he is compassionate and merciful. That like the Bible says about God, when God forgives, God doesn't remember the sin any longer. That's because God wants to be free of regret and all the pain that comes from holding on to anger and disappointment. So I wore this this morning um, because it's a sermon all by itself. And it's a lovely metaphor that there is a person in the Midwest that now I can see as lovely and generous. Because as the Father has sent Jesus, so Jesus sends me. And you. To be the way of Christ in the world that is too full of anger and resentment, too willing to hold on to hurt and pain. And as you and I seek to follow the way of Jesus, it is, as you said, Jonathan, that Christmas lasts longer than yesterday or the next 12 days. So in, in my eagerness to recognize that it was time to forgive Anna, the surprising thing happened is I was able to forgive myself so that I could enter fully into this time in which we are called to celebrate the Prince of Peace, the wonderful Counselor, Emmanuel, God with us. Merry Christmas. 
Merry Christmas, Anna. And Merry Christmas to all of you and to me as well. Merry. Amen. <laughs>